my sturdy women welcome back I hope you're having a good week I hope you're feeling good in your body today I want to talk about something that I know a lot of you have on your mind um, especially in the United States it's starting to get warm and sunny outside we are approaching summer what do you wear when you have lipedema it's warm it's sunny people are showing more skin what can we do? What, what are good shorts? What are good bathing suits? What do you do uh, when you gotta wear compression, right? Let's talk about all of that um, today. I'll share my three rules for dressing with lipedema and some of my favorite clothing brands or clothing brands that I've heard other women really like. Um, make sure, stick around to the end. If I miss anything, I'm gonna need your help putting it down below in the comments. I'm sure this is one that a lot of you will have things to say and you will know things that I've never heard of. Um, so please make sure um, that you share and you teach me and, and you teach everybody else. But before um, we get started, I just wanna say a big welcome to all of our new subscribers. We are so glad to have you in our community. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click below um, to subscribe and then click the bell so that you get a notification each week when I post a new video. And then if today's information or anything else on the channel is helpful to you, please do like and share so that we can reach more women and give them help and help on their journey. Okay, so I kind of have three rules that I um, go by when dressing for lipedema. Number one rule, and I have them written down here. I'm gonna make sure that I give them to you uh, properly. Number one rule, ladies, you can't hide. People already know what you look like. Invisibility capes don't exist. Black will not like completely change your body. Um, everyone in your life already knows what you look like. You're the only one who thinks that they don't. <laughs> so you can't hide. They already know. Um, that's scary. That's also really freeing. Um, because when you realize that, you're the, you're the only one who has been carrying on a charade this whole time. Everyone around you already knows what you look like. They already love you and care about you. Um, just be yourself. Um, so number one, stop hiding um, and, and stop thinking that people don't see you. They see you um, and they probably see you a lot more than, than you realize that they do. Um, but that being said, um, there are some things that you can do that will make you feel more comfortable um, and pleased with what you see when you look in the mirror. And one of those um, is balancing your proportions. And this is not just a lipedema thing. This is like every single person in the world who wears clothes benefits from balancing their proportions, whatever those are. So for many of us, we are a pear shape, right? Our lower body is, what did they say, two to four sizes bigger than our upper body. I think mine's definitely four. Um, what you can do is rather than just like saying, okay, I'm gonna put on my invisibility cloak of like all black, even though it's 100 degrees outside, um, what you wanna do is stop trying to hide the parts of your body you don't like and instead draw attention up to the other parts. So for example, if your lower body is large and you don't want people looking at it, no problem balance your proportion and wear something with a bright print on your top. That's going to make that look a little bit bigger, look more proportionate with your bottom. So I'll put up a picture. Um, I did a blog about this about a year ago called How Pear Shapes Wear Black. Well, it's a black outfit, um, but you can see on the top, I'm wearing a black and white jacket. And because that's this like fun print, it's got more going on, it balances my larger lower body. You can do this with anything, all sorts of things, right? You could use a bright color on top. You could use a beautiful necklace or a scarf or like a crazy hat. I'm not really a hat person, but now that I said that, 
will totally maybe go look for a hat. Um, <laughs> basically, balancing proportion just means draw attention away from the part of your body that you don't want people looking at it. So don't try to hide it, like don't waste your energy. People can see it, but instead put something beautiful, bright, whatever your personality is, bring it up towards your upper body. That's going to help balance your proportion. It's gonna draw interest up towards your upper body, towards your gorgeous face, towards your gorgeous everything, um, and you're gonna feel more confident about yourself. So, balance your proportions. My second, my third, who lost count. My third and final tip. Once you start doing number one, once you start doing number two, people are going to notice you. Once you're done hiding, once you're wearing things and feeling good about yourself, people are going to notice you. Get ready for it. I'm not making this up. You are gonna get new opportunities at work. Strangers are gonna start hitting on you. Yes, I said it. Strangers are gonna start hitting on you. And not subtly, like, ooh, is that person like looking at me? No, like people are gonna start walking up to you and asking you if you're married. I'm telling you from experience, and I'm not telling you at my size now. This was happening to me when I was a size 22, okay? Um, when you start feeling better about yourself, dressing like you want people to see you, people will start seeing you, um, and things will start changing and happening in your life. So, those are my three tips. Uh, number one, stop hiding. Number two, balance your proportions. Number three, get ready because people are gonna see you and they're gonna start appreciating you, which you so deserve. Um, the, the last piece I promised to tell you about were some of the brands that I really love. Um, and I'm just gonna throw some out here, but please, I know you all have others. My number one, if you're not checking out Tor Torrid yet, please do yourself a favor, get over there, see what they have going on. I love, love, love their skinny jeans. And I know you're all rolling your eyes and saying like, Rebecca, I would never wear skinny jeans. What was rule number one? Stop hiding. The first pair of skinny pants that I ever purchased were a size 22, okay? I thought I would catch on fire walking out of the house wearing those. Guess what? Nothing happened. It was fine. I did it again. It was fine. <laughs> Okay, so my favorite place to get skinny jeans is at Torrid and they have this wonderful I don't know if it's wonderful, but I'm really excited to try it as soon as it's on sale They have a new style of pants that are jeans that are supposed to expand up to three sizes so if you like me have a lot of swelling need something that's going to be super forgiving they have this new style as soon as they're on sale i will get some and i will let you know um but love torrid torrid also has wide shoes maybe like me you have wide swollen bunyany feet um and you also really love cute shoes well, Torrid's got your back. Um, they have wide shoes and um, especially in like fall and winter, they have knee boots that come in wide calf and extra wide calf. Um, so I know we've talked in another video about how hard boots can be for us. Torrid might help you get into a pair of boots. I cried when I had my first ones uh, a couple years ago. So check out Torrid if you haven't been over there yet. They also have swim, lots of things like that. Uh, my favorite thing for swim is a swim legging. If you are not onto this yet, ladies, this is going to be life changing. If you want to be a little more modest, you're not ready to show your legs yet, look for a swim legging. They'll come in like a full length or a capri length, almost like a running short, like a running tight. I said shorts, running tights. Um, and you can feel really supported and covered and then wear like a cute tankini or something if you want. You can mix and match with whatever. Um, speaking of swim, and let me say first before I move on to another brand, Torrid um, goes from size 10 to 30. Um, so check them out. For swim, one that I also really love um, is Land's End. And you may think of this like I did as that 
catalog that has always just like arrived at the house, right? Um, you used to be able to buy lands in at Sears, but Sears is like all closing, so I don't know if, if that's still an option. Um, but Lansen is a great place for swim. Um, and they now do plus size from 16 to 26. So when I went on my trip um, to Asia a couple months ago, I bought some swim tights, some swim leggings from Lands End, and they were really high quality, really liked it. Price was pretty good. One other thing to know about Lands End is other than swim, they have all sorts of clothes and coats and dresses and you know all of the normal stuff. What's different about them that's good to know is they do plus size tall and also plus size petite. So if you are a little bit on the tall side or a little bit on the shorter side, they might have some really great options that are hard to find somewhere else or so that you don't have to be like tailoring your clothes just to have them the right length. Um, so check out Lands N for 16 through 26 and then tall and petite um, a couple other brands that just look like they have really cool stuff um, and bright colors and things like that um, Eloqui they do sizes 14 through 32 oh my god I was on their website last night those of you who are not yet on the skinny jean train you will get there but Eloqui has you until you're there they have these wonderful super wide like I guess that's in this season super wide pants in all sorts of fun colors and prints and they just look like oh my god everyone's going to be looking at you in the best way if you step out in those um so check out that sizes 14 through 32 um they also do swim and bridal so yes ladies check that out um one brand i don't know a lot about them but everyone was talking about it at fdrs the conference last month is cato Cato does sizes 14 through 36. It didn't look like they had swim, but they do have really affordable prices um, and lots of different size, styles to choose from. Um, so Cato might be something um, that works for you. And like I said, they have stores. So there might be one you can go try things on near you. And then Old Navy, of course, we all love Old Navy. There is probably one close to you if you're in the United States. They now go up to size 30. And I think that's even in the stores. So you can like walk in, find up to a size 4X, try it on in the store, walk out with it hallelujah right for how long have we been relegated to the internet and been told like yes we have your size but don't actually come in the store looking for it just stay home and we'll mail it to you right ugh um and then i would be remiss not to mention lane bryant when i was growing up in missouri the only plus size store that we had was lane bryant and this was before you could buy things on the internet Lane Bryant was all I had. Um, so thank you for being there, Lane Bryant. Um, they go from sizes 12 up to size 40. Um, I used to wear a ton of their jeans um, back before my diagnosis. So love Lane Bryant jeans, and I'm pretty sure they have swim too, but I can't remember, I might have it wrong. So all of those are great options. My last tip for you, which this is like the best thing ever, so congratulations to you for watching to the end. All of these brands you can buy for a fraction of the price if you buy them used on this website called Thread Up. And you can do this in the US and Canada. There might be other services in other parts of the world that you can use, but this website is called Thread Up. I literally buy all of my clothes except my compression off thread up. You can buy things new with tags. You can find things that you loved but are discontinued like Loft Plus clothes. When I was going into the office, all of my clothes were from Loft Plus. Well, Loft decided to stop doing plus sizes. You can still buy them on thread up. Last year, I sold my entire wardrobe of work clothes on Thread Up and got about $600. That's the other side of this, is if like me, you start fluctuating sizes, you can turn around and sell some of your barely used clothes or clothes with tags. You can sell them on Thread Up, get a little bit of extra money, and then get something that fits. How cool is that? So 
Once you find one of these brands that works for you, or if you're struggling to find something, you can just go in and say, hey, I'm looking for a 3X, or hey, I'm looking for, you know, whatever it is, and then you say, I want something black, I want something red, I want something blue. They will pull up everything that they have for you, um, regardless of the brand, and you can just scan through and see what's there. I want a blue maxi dress with a metallic detail in a size 5X you can run that search on ThreadUp. And if someone has mailed one in, you'll see it. You can save that search and they will email you every time they have something that comes in that matches that. It is amazing. And you can buy clothes for just a fraction of what you would pay in the store. So if you are unsure if a pink jumpsuit is something that you are ready to step out in, buy one for like $8 on ThreadUp, try it out, and if you don't like it, or you wear it once, well, you weren't out that much, right? So that is just a huge tip. Check it out. Um, like I said, I've been using it for about a year and a half. I've bought a ton of stuff, I've sold a ton of stuff. It's just been great. Um, what did I miss? What tips do you have? Um, what do you, what's your favorite bathing suit? What are your favorite shorts? What are your favorite whatever? Um, how do you balance your proportions? How do you feel great about yourself? Let's help each other out because we got to get out there and uh, take on the world, ladies. Um, put it down below in the comments. I've got a couple posts on my blog about fashion and outfits um, that I put up last year. So you can check out those over at sturdywoman.com. But really, just enjoy the summer, ladies. Get out in the sun. Just do it. Be your wonderful self. I'll see you next week.